So the reason we're going out for the levy this fall is that the amount of money coming in from the state hasn't kept up with the amount that it costs to really run the district. 80% of our funding comes from state money. And part of that funding is used for things like special ed, teachers, staffing, curriculum, all of that. But what happens is that gap continues to grow between what we need to spend and what we get in from the state. So we've been deficit spending and cutting down our fund balance. Like if you were to come up with an analogy, if you take out um, a mortgage, right, to go purchase a house, that money is used to build the house, but you still have to have money, right, which is, comes in the form of your salary and your income, basically to operate it, to pay to heat it, to pay to maintain it, all that kind of stuff has to come from somewhere. You don't use those mortgage dollars to pay for that. It's the same for a school district. We can't use those dollars that were raised in 2015 for the bond referendum to operate it. We have to have a separate taxing, a tax ask for that. The bond is the building money. The levy is what it takes to operate those buildings with our great teachers, with our great programs, with our everything from a custodian to a server in the lunchroom to everything needed to operate these buildings. We cannot operate these great buildings without an operating budget. The bond that we passed in 2015 was for a specific set of capital improvement projects that went to pay for our new intermediate school, we made capital improvements to every single one of our buildings at the end of the day, and it was a fairly substantial project that we had. I think what people get confused about is that those dollars went specifically for that particular project. What the operating levies do is they gave us money to operate, not just the buildings, but the whole district as a whole. The operating levy goes to pay for salaries for almost all of our employees, busing, supplies, um, as well as just the basics of running the building, heating and cooling and lawn maintenance and all that kind of stuff like gets, gets grouped into that. So what I would like all of you to do, I would like you to find out the value of your home from the Wright County website or that form that comes in the mail. The Wright County gives you a tax assessment. That is the value of your home. Go on our website, go to the tax calculator there is a spot to enter that value and hit calculate. It will give you the impact of voting yes on the levy. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out to the district office. You can talk to Superintendent Shane. You can talk to our business manor, manager, Mary Reeder. You can talk to me, Lisa Seguin. Any of our board members can answer questions. Um, there's a section of our website that's dedicated to information about the operating levy where we've got FAQ information, um, information about where to vote, how to vote early. All that information is available on the website. Um, so we've, we really think there's a plethora of information and we're here to answer any questions that you have. Yeah.